everybody, today I am going to show you how to make matar pilau, matar meaning peas, so peas pilau. I'll just go ahead and show you what ingredients you need to make this. It's very simple, you only need four ingredients. So for this recipe you'll need three cups of basmati rice, one finely chopped large onion, two heaped tablespoons of cumin seeds, and lastly, a quarter of a bag of frozen garden peas. First, I'm just going to add some oil to the pan and let it heat up. With pilau rice, you want to be quite generous with the oil, so I'm just going to add a little bit more. I think that's probably enough oil. Once the oil is hot, then add all your cumin seeds. Be careful on this part because you don't want to burn your cumin seeds. You just want to lightly fry them. And then when you can start to smell the cumin, then you add your onions. So I'm just going to keep stirring it so it doesn't burn. I've got the gas on medium flame on gas mark four. In fact, I'm just going to turn it up a bit to gas mark six because this step has to happen very quickly. I can really smell the cumin now, so I'm just going to quickly add my onions. Give it a stir and I'm also going to add the peas now. I've just got a bag of garden peas and I think I'm going to add about a third of the bag. Yeah, that's enough. You can add as much or as little as you like, but the idea is for it to, be, to have lots of peas as it's a peas pilau. You can also use the same recipe and add other frozen vegetable. You can add carrots, a sweet corn, anything really. So I've just mixed that. And I'm just going to add some salt. I'm going to add about one heaped tablespoon of salt. mix that together and I'm just going to add my washed rice now I've washed my rice so I'm just going to add it in and mix that all together before adding the water Now for the amount of water that you add to this, my rule is one cup of rice is two cups of water. So as we've used three cups of rice, I'm going to add six cups of water. In goes the first cup, second, third, Fourth, fifth, and lastly the sixth cup of water. Just going to stir that around and put the lid on and just leave it to boil. Um, it will take about 15 to 20 minutes on high heat to cook. Once it's cooked, I will then leave it on a low heat for another five to 10 minutes, and that's it. Then it will be cooked and ready to eat. On goes the lid, and I'll just leave it to heat up. So I'm just going to let that boil, and while that boils, I will probably... Smells nice. Hello. <laughs> My <laughs> husband, everybody. This what are you making? Feel our eyes. Smells nice. Thanks. Smells nice. Hi guys! <laughs> Go away! 
We got Wi-Fi yesterday finally in our new house and that's it, we don't speak anymore. <laughs> Go away. This was good, girl. Thank you. So I'm just going to I was going to say make myself a cuppa but I don't drink tea. So I'm just going to pour myself a nice glass of cold water, wait for this to boil, and then turn it on very low heat before it's ready to eat. We're actually going to eat this with a chicken dish that I just made. It's in the oven and ready to eat. Um, it's a tandoori tomato chicken, which sounds weird, I know, but I thought I'd try something new. Actually, I'll show you guys. I've just made this. It's chicken in a tandoori and tomato marinade with coriander and some garlic. If only you can smell this guys, it smells so good. But we're going to taste it and if it tastes good then I'll definitely make a tutorial on how to make it and upload it on my channel. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. Let's see... Ooh! Oh, it's cooked! Oh, that cooked very fast. So, I'm going to just turn it down on very low heat. Um, the lowest, so gas mark one. And just to mix it. Normally, the peas and onions and cumin, it just rises to the top. But I just mix it so it's all nice and even. Just be careful so the rice doesn't spill out. I've actually cooked a lot of rice this time round. But this does about six to eight servings, so it's quite a lot. Be very gentle when you mix it because you don't want to mash the rice. So I'm just doing it very gently and just from the sides and just bringing it from the bottom to the top. Um, I think that will be it. So now, now that's nicely evened out. I'm just going to put the lid back on. And I'm just going to leave it on the hob um, on gas mark one, so the lowest heat temperature, and just leave it, just leave it to settle for about five minutes, and then turn it off, and then leave to cool before eating. Mmm, and that's it. That's the tutorial. How simple was that? I can't wait to eat it. I really hope you guys try this recipe. Let me know if you do, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.